How's it going guys and welcome to a game that pretty much birthed Geometry Dash. The impossible game and this is where my life of Geometry Dash started because I played this game in 2013, like shortly after it came out. This is one of the first games I ever played on my YouTube channel. So yeah, it's gonna be a blast of the past. The whole point of this video is we're gonna try to go through all the levels and we're gonna see is the impossible game as hard as I remember it? Because I remember each of these levels taking me like an hour or more to complete when I first came to them. But now that I've played how many thousands of hours of Geometry Dash, I want to see, is the impossible game still? Does it still feel impossible? Or is it fairly easy? If I hadn't have played this game, I would have not even have known Geometry Dash existed. And in 2014, I would have never started it. I played this game about like a year and a half before GD even came out. And then ever since I had played it, I had my eye on Geometry Dash waiting for it to come out on Steam. And then I started playing GD. So if it wasn't for this game, I wouldn't even have played G -G GD. GD. Well, let's go. So, uh, ooh, ow, ow, ow. I think I clicked off the screen. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I seem to remember. Ouchies! The jumping. You, you, you definitely don't jump as high as in GD. I remember, yeah, the triple spikes were actually, I think, way harder in this game than they were in GD. Well, the normal triple spikes anyways. Obviously, in GD in the editor, you can you can edit larger triple spikes. You can, you can space them apart. But in terms of just a normal set of triple spikes, yeah, this game was the hardest. And I think it's just because of the jump height, but I'm not too sure. Okay, Eric, do oh boy, just jump. Oh, man. This is intense. The song is like heart attack fuel, huh? Ah, triple spike! I almost died there. That was so close. Okay, how long are these levels? I forget. Are we almost at the end? We getting there? We hustling hard? No, no, no. There's a troll part. I remember the troll part. Ah, triple spikes is so hard! Yes! Oh, yes, we did it. Damn you, triple spike. Okay, we gotta fall soon, don't we? It's like right before... There we go, fall. Do I just jump? Ah! I held down the jump button! We got it! Oh my god. Please take me to the end. I can't handle this anymore. <gasps> that double triple. I think we're almost there. That double triple was bananas. Oh! Okay, my sight read... Ah! That last triple. My god. Oh, that took me five minutes. <laughs> that level took me like an hour and a half when I first played it. Oh my goodness. All right. Not too bad. So that was Fire Aura. Now, there is the original level, which I believe when this game first came out, there was only one level. And then Fire Aura is like the updated version of that. So I think this is just going to be like super similar to the one we just played. I don't even know if this is worth playing, but let's give it a shot. Let's just try to beat all the levels. If I can beat that first one, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we got this in the bag. Yeah, this is, uh... I think this is easier than the level we just played. I think Fire Aura is... Wait. Okay, the tricks. I see. Not falling for it. Ha! <laughs> Take that. Fool me once. I'm... That's... That's because of you. Fool me twice and I'm a dum-dum. Oh, is this... Is this gonna make me fall? Are you gonna make me... You, you gonna... No, 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 no. No trick. What? I jumped over it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, you just gotta hold down the jump on there. That's crazy. Okay. Like, I, I was, like, letting go and clicking, like, almost every time for these jumps. But a lot of the times, you just have to hold down the button. All right. We're at the intense part. I'm doing these triple jumps more consistently. The triple jump timing's a little bit different than GD. Oh. Oh. Okay, just hold down the button. This is gonna be the troll fall, though, isn't it? No? No troll fall? Really? Whoa. Whoa. Ah, you gotta jump. That must have been so close to the end. Okay, this is definitely easier than Fire Aura. Okay, hold it down. Yeah, boy. Don't die to these triples. These inevitable. Oh! The inevitable triples. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're done. No, no, no. We gotta go through this part. But then that's it. That's it. That's it. No more triples. No more triples. Now we're nail- Yeah! We're nailing these triples! 
The next level is Chaos Fantasy. I believe this one goes upside down. Oh my god. Yeah, I remember the first time it went upside down. I must have, like, crapped my pants. It's like, oh my god, what is this? It's... Is this why they call it the impossible game? Upside down? I mean, they had to mix it up somehow. These normal gameplay parts are, like, pretty easy now. Although the hardest level is the third one, Phased, I think it's called. That That's, like, such a hard level. Oh my god, how are we supposed to keep track of this? Yeah, all that jump trash practice certainly has paid off. Although I still think the triple jumps are, are just a smidgen tighter in the impossible game. Oh boy. Are we gonna nail this upside down section? I, this was like, ah, oh, you didn't help, no. I think every single song in this game is available on Newgrounds for Geometry Dash. I'm pretty sure. Most of them anyways. I've heard them in various levels in GD. Don't know if they're still up there, but uh, they were allowed for use at some point. Oh boy. Okay. Remember we fall, Eric. Da, 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 da. Oh jeez. Whoa. I didn't think I was going to get that. That triple was insane. Okay. Back to normal. Going to purple. Purple. Here we go. Yeah. Fall there for sure. Oh, what a triple. What a triple, indeed. It's gonna go back upside down though. This is the final part, gold, the golden shower, yes. Oh, the triples! Insane! Is that it? No, 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 back to purple, what? You kidding me? Okay, and to pink? Pink, are we gonna finish it off on pink? Yeah, I think it finishes on pink, actually. <gasps> I almost died to that triple. Oh no, it finishes on blue. Yes! <laughs> I don't know why these levels stress me out. It's because when I first played them, they were so hard for me and they took so long. And before, when I used to make videos uh, on YouTube, I, I guess, I mean, it was a whole different scene back then in 2012, 2013. Basically, I would like throw a story game on for 15 minutes or 20 minutes and I wouldn't even edit it just go from like start to beginning I just like upload that to YouTube right and that worked that was like that was the whole culture of YouTube at the time and uh, so I started playing this game and I was like I can't do that like I have to edit these parts of when I'm talking when I make progress and I was like wow that that was like stressing me out I was like that's gonna take so much time during that time also I was a full-time English teacher so like now it's my job now I I spend time every day on this but when I was a teacher like I didn't have much time right so it was freaking me out all right we did it we did chaos fantasy which means we should be able to do heaven phased is the last level phased isn't that hard heaven though heaven is crazy phased didn't take me that long to do when I came to it because I had done all the levels previously but heaven is bananas Oh yeah, I've heard I've heard this song a lot. This is the level that took me the longest. Because there's a lot of like triple jumps that you don't just hold down the button. They're like spaced out in a weird way where you jump, wait, jump, wait. In the other levels, mostly you could hold down the button if you like jumped into multiple triples at the same time properly. This one is This one's a whole different experience. Let's go. It's gonna it's it's about to go bananas. It goes like upside down. There's like these crazy triples. Yeah, this beginning part is like bananas. Am I gonna be able to sight read it? Oh, the level starts like falling down behind you. And then it starts like falling down in front of you too, doesn't it? Yeah, like those are spaced out. Yeah, I had to wait a little bit. Ooh, ooh. Okay, then. What? I j man, I jumped over that triple and I didn't land on the platform. That was like I jumped too close to the triple. Okay, we didn't jump over that time. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, that was a little bit of a tight jump. Oh, yeah. See, those you have to wait a little bit. You can't just hold down the button there. That's like, those were pretty bananas triples, you know? What in the heck? Okay. Wait, what was that? <laughs> the guy killed me. He's like, who? I'm just like, friggin' that what? Oh, my God. Yeah, the level appears like in front of you. Oh my god, it's so hard to know when- <laughs> How do you know what to do? <laughs> There's gotta be like over halfway through the level. Come on. Okay, fall, jump, 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 fall. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, jump, fall, jump, fall, jump, fall. Okay, maybe I should just go and practice. Okay guys, how about this practice music? It's quite mysterious. How do you think it- Holds up to the Geometry Practice music. No, I like the Geometry Practice music more. 
because it sounds like a training montage. This one just sounds spooky. Yes! Triple spikes of doom! We're doing it! Okay. And... One more triple spike right now! It's over! Ha <laughs> Heaven! Complete! Oh my god, that part where the pieces come up in front of you. I forgot how hard that was. So, the big question going into this video was, is the impossible game still hard? And all the other levels after playing Geometry Fire or Original Level Chaos Fantasy so far, not that hard. But my goodness heaven, that part was crazy! With the blocks falling up. Let's do Phased. Phased is gonna be a piece of cake now. After doing all these other levels, Phased is gonna be like a joke. The big shtick with- oop. <laughs> The big shtick with phased is there's like these one block gaps we have to jump out of. We've dealt with those like all over uh, GD. Yeah, it tries to trick you with like one block gaps. Just putting more like blocks on the screen. Yeah, like that, like jumping into those. I think, yeah, you can die easier jumping into those in the impossible game, but I'm not sure. You have to jump into them in like a specific way or like almost right away. If you don't, like you can more easily die. It's just from my memory. Like maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I have, I have no idea. But who knows? I mean, let's find out. I think we're like already halfway... <laughs> I think we were halfway through the level. Okay, hey, we're up top here. Whoa, dude! When are we gonna have to jump? Wow, that was not that... Wait, what was... What? Was it? What? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. This is going to be the time. We ain't going to... We're not going to let this bring us down now, this level. We can clearly see we have to do that. That insanely hard part is over, right? Boom. Jump over that, yeah. No more tricks, right? I don't think there's any more tricks. I don't recall there being any more tricks. Which way do we go? The top, the top way was right. I don't wonder if we can go both ways. I'm not too sure. Okay. I think we're... I mean, we're almost done. Yeah, this is... <laughs> What? They're like just spaced out enough so if you jump too late on one of them, you'll lose. Okay, what? Oh my god, what is going on? The game was freaking out. No way, that must, that was the very end, wasn't it? Okay, let's go. Early jumps. These aren't triples. Are we going? Where are we going? Jump! Hold down! <laughs> That's so cheap! You don't hold down the button, you just fall and you have to jump next or something? Okay, we're just gonna wait. Oh, you just wait until you're all the way at the bottom and that's probably like the very end. Fall. Okay. Is that it? <laughs> that's it! We died like three times at the very end of the level. Wow, that took a while. Jeez. Actually, it didn't take that long. It took us 45 minutes to do all the levels in the game. Which isn't bad, considering each individual level used to take me like an hour, an hour and a half to do. So, the impossible game. Is it still hard after playing Geometry Dash for a long time? Well, yes and no. The basic gameplay stuff, like the first few levels, are actually not that hard, because it's very similar to GD. But when the impossible game starts throwing in some weird, kind of janky stuff, like in the last level phase where shit's like popping up off screen, it's really hard to react to that. But, uh, but other than that, it's... Uh, of course, a lot of the skills from Geometry Dash still, like, carry over into this game. But the timings are all just, like, slightly different. Like, you can really jump at the very last second over a triple spike in this game. In Geometry Dash, you might jump upwards and get punished by jumping up into the spike if you're right beside the triple spikes. So there's, like, some kind of minor differences in physics... Other than that, there's so many things that carry over, like the sight reading aspect and like most of the basic gameplay, of course. If you do play Geometry Dash, I challenge you to just do what I just did, play through all the levels in the impossible game, and tell me in the comment section how long it took you to finish these levels. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, peace.